Alison Bechtel called them um, Victorian-era zinesters, which is really good, because they were. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days, and sponsored by New England Federal Credit Union. Today we're here in Burlington at the home studio of cartoonist Glynis Fox. I brought Charlotte Bronte to, to a yoga class with me. She was really astounded by yoga. We're going to talk to Glynis about her two books, which are coming out now. Charlotte Bronte, Before Jane Eyre, and Persephone's Garden, graphic novels, cartoons made here in Vermont. It's like all around Vermont power with Center for Cartoon Studies, Alison Bechtel, James Sturm as an editor, and, and me. I've always liked the, the Brontes. And also another amazing thing is they all drew almost as much as they wrote. If they were working now, having them be cartoonists wouldn't be that far off. Trying to figure out how to draw their hair, especially different hairstyles that changed. Charlotte was the one with, the, we have to do this. Her struggle to make something of herself and her, her determination that she had something to say in the world is very inspiring. Even as she lived in this isolated village on the moors, she knew she could she could connect with people. There's a blank page and another blank page, so I've got to figure out what goes there. Yeah, it's been in the last 10 years that I feel like I've focused my main energy on cartooning. So there's something magical about this combination of a few words and some pictures that create a world, that create a narrative. Even though I love all the years I spent just painting or you know working as an illustrator for archaeology some dense diary comics about working on a dig in Greece comics yeah is the key to feel like this is exactly what I want to be doing right now if I don't do some kind of drawing every day, I start to not think that that's what I do. It's the best of the past five years of my life. So this book is a collection from traveling and a lot of drawings about my children because they just say the darndest things. My children are now in high school and middle school, so I'm not drawing comics about them anymore. So this is the end of an era. Want to see more? Yes. Okay. Please. This little pad of paper where I was taking notes just from a biography, just trying to get the timeline into my head. It was some research to figure out when they got certain dogs and how long they lasted and what out of this can I create a scene that will that will dramatize and be interesting and be true. Here's bleak scenes of, of children dying in the graveyard scene. I did them all in ink wash. So it's you're doing, doing this job. in layers. Yes, exactly. Three different versions of this same page. Here's one where I cheated on the backgrounds. I think it took longer to use Photoshop, actually. That's like the, what it's all for, is to to that elusive groove, where I feel like I'm, I'm with them. It's phenomenal that they are still, as you said, being read, being published, yeah. being adapted. So my next project is a middle grade adventure comic that's set in late Bronze Age Greece and Egypt. I think because it's such a small state, there's room for a cartoonist laureate and there's room for a cartoon school. The cartoonist weather is, is true. It's snowing and, or raining. And cartoonists who write about themselves and, and reveal the details of their lives or how things happened, I feel like through those stories you can find your, your own way. This is what keeps me going, is wanting to join this stream of stories that is, is swirling like around the world and through time. September 26th, you can go to Phoenix Books in Burlington, where Glynis will be launching her new book, Charlotte Bronte, Before Jane Eyre. And we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up for our weekly email alerts. There's that Austin Land book. Uh, or, or a movie, like a themed hotel where you could go stay and like wear a corset and find romance or something like that. And I was thinking um, the Bronte Land theme park would be more like no visitors, 
dogs maybe and some walks on the moors and some porridge. The Bronte theme park is um, something I've been thinking about. <laughs>